Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond Fine Print. I'm Molly Gambhir. The Gulf crisis, which has pitted regional players against Qatar, could be moving towards a resolution. The row will be one of the leading talking points during the Gulf Cooperation Council meeting, which will be held on Tuesday. The row, which started in 2017, affected the composition of the GCC. At this point, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and the UAE are boycotting Qatar. Kuwait and Oman are neutral. So how exactly did this controversy begin and why is the upcoming meeting this crucial? In May 2017, a statement appeared on the state news agency's website allegedly endorsing Islamist movements and criticizing U.S. President Donald Trump. The statement was attributed to Qatar's ruler, Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Authorities said the website had been hacked and the statement was fake. Then, in June 2017, Saudi Arabia, along with its allies Bahrain, Egypt and the UAE, abruptly cut all diplomatic ties with Qatar, including air links, land crossings and direct shipping. A day later, Donald Trump tweeted that a number of leaders in West Asia pointed towards Qatar for allegedly supporting radical ideology. And later that month, the Saudi-led coalition issued 13 sweeping demands in return for lifting the boycott. This included the closure of a prominent Doha-based news network, shuttering of a Turkish military base. They also demanded Qatar must curb its relations with Iran, an arch-rival of both Saudi Arabia and the United States. Qatar rejected these demands, calling them unrealistic and non-actionable. The Saudi-led coalition, the alliance, doubled down and issued a list of 18 extremist individuals and entities demanding Qatar must take action against them. This list was later expanded to 90 names. In April 2019, when Qatar's ruler visited Washington, Donald Trump struck a concil conciliatory tone, calling him a friend. Qatar's foreign minister said that some progress in talks has been made with Saudi Arabia. However, in December 2019, Qatar's emir declined an invitation by Saudi Arabia to attend a Gulf Cooperation Council summit in Riyadh. In February last year, Qatar's foreign minister revealed that talks with Saudi Arabia were suspended. In the weeks leading up to the anniversary of the rift, a number of posts targeting Qatar surfaced on social media, including claims that it was considering quitting the GCC. And on December 30th, the GCC announced that King Salman had invited the Qatari Emir to the summit in Riyadh on the 5th of January. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.